Using what we learned about image planes in the last tutorial, let's model a wine glass object to a reference image. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using polygon modeling. However, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the same results using NURBS in an upcoming video. Right, to get started, let's just sort out our viewports here. We don't need these two ones at the bottom because we need to be using perspective and size. Let's just get rid of those like so. Over here, you can see this is top. So let's just go to panels, orthographic view, and then side. And let's now import an image. So view, image planes, import image, and then wine glass reference. Perfect, like so. Um, leave it in the center, but what we can turn on is just looking through camera so we get rid of it in that perspective view. The next thing we're going to want to do is just move the image plane up so that the bottom of the glass is along this line on the grid. Doing so means that we can start modeling on the grid and work our way up. So let's just move that up. The primitive we're going to be using in this tutorial is just a cylinder. Let's just draw one out, not worrying about the size too much or anything like so. Brilliant. Um, if you hit T on the keyboard, you can bring up the um, the quick menu and we can just type 16 uh, subdivisions. We don't need quite as many on the sides. Alt X is set up to be X-ray mode on my keyboard. I do have a whole tutorial on how to set this up um, in the hotkey editor. So that's what I'm using. Alt X is just toggle that. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is just scale down the cylinder a little bit until we get the rough size of the base of the glass. In vertex mode now, I'm just going to grab these top ones and just bring them down so we kind of have the base of the glass and then we're just going to work our way up like so. We don't need these top faces so I'm just going to delete them. So hold and tab on the keyboard you can kind of paint select the selection that you want and hit delete. In edge mode now let's start extruding up. I'm going to be using uh, shift to extrude because in from Maya 2018 um, from within the object uh, menus you can turn on sorry uh, shift and drag to extrude components down here. So let's just extrude up to where the, the stem begins and we can just scale that down now. Um, note that when you're scaling, make sure you scale um, on all axes. I'm not just grabbing this blue one because it might look good from the side view. However, as you can see from the perspective mood, it's not uh, scaling the way you want it to. So we're scaling from all axes like so. And um, we can now just start um, creating the, the shape that we want. I'm just going to Take it all the way up to the top and then with the multi-cut tool add a few more divisions in, in vertex mode i'm just going to start uh, making sure the scale is, oh, oh, is how i want it um obviously it starts to get a bit wider up here down there a little bit slimmer and obviously we need probably one more in here just to kind of get that shape like so here on the free on the keyboard you can sort of see how the shape is now taking place which is what we want. Um, also to note, at the bottom of the glass, you do actually have, it kind of goes up a little bit as well. This glass isn't going to be 100% accurate. However, it will give you the know-how on how to like create one. So if you want to take more time with yours, feel free. Let's grab these top edges and start creating the actual like glass part of the glass. I'm just going to extrude straight up to the top and scale out to the size of the rim, like so. Just add in a few more divisions in, like we did with the stem, just to kind of flesh out the shape, like so. Again, it looks like we're going to need a few more here and here, just to kind of hold the shape that we want, following the line of the, uh, the reference image. So as you can see, if we hit free on that now, it kind of holds up pretty well to the reference image, and we're kind of maintaining the shape that we want. In perspective mode, you can kind of see how we have a bit of a problem. We don't have any thickness to our glass, and the easy way to fix this is just to keep on doing the extrusions, but kind of on the inside. So if we grab the top edge and it, um, shift extrude with the scale tool again to kind of give the thickness to the glass, and we can start working our way back down the glass, like so. So if the image plane is selected, you can actually go to color gain and just kind of down that a little bit. We still want it there, but however, it help us see the topology a little bit better. So with the edge selected, it start extruding down. So shift extrude and kind of scale out. I'm trying to match the outside topology a little bit, but I'm also noted not to scale up too far to the point where I go through the topology, but also to kind of give it enough thickness for the actual glass. So let's just keep on going. As we get towards the base, you'll notice how like there's a bit more thickness in the glass. So I'm going to start leaving a bit more of an edge going like so. And just scale that down now. 
Okay, so with the last one, with the edge selects, you can go shift, right click, merge, collapse edges, merge edges to center, like so, just to kind of finish that off. Perfect. And then what you can actually do is select some edges and go to uh, edit edge flow to kind of help the flow of the inside of the glass. And you can do the same on the outside one. However, you might want to just make sure it's not breaking anything like so. And you'll get a nicer flow like so. Um, at the bottom of the glass, we have a bunch of triangles, which isn't necessarily a problem in this. However, if you want to clean that up, a quick way to do so is to select every other edge and hit control delete. And you can do the same on the base, like so. Which actually, if we select all of them and do a control E for extrude and then offset a little bit, we can kind of fix a little bit of that stuff down the bottom. I mean, we can even add a an extra edge in there just to hold the bottom a little bit better. And then like I was saying, select every other edge, control delete to make them nice quads at the bottom as well. Brilliant, so once you've got that, you might as well add a couple more edges on the top to kind of hold the, the top rim, like so, on either side. And now, you should have your wine glass. Like I was saying, this wasn't really going to be a super accurate tutorial on how to make a wine glass, but it was more just to show the kind of approach I would take to doing so. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you get stuck at any point, leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.